Hey everyone, so what I'm going to show you is how to do a WebEx meeting um, in your calendar. So you can do it with students. So in your Google Calendar, what you're going to want to do is you'd come here and you would create a meeting. And so, or an event, sorry. So we're going to call this one a test meeting. Um, you'd be able to pick your time of day, whatever it is you need, um, location. But the important part here would be add conferencing. And so when you do this, you actually have a couple options. You have a Hangout Meet, which you could do for video conferencing um, and things like that. But the downside to using this one in particular is that you can only do up to 10 people at once within that meeting. So if you were going to do it synchronously um, during class, so if it was like a flex day, e-learning day, you know, something of that nature where you're not going to be in the classroom, but you still wanted to be able to communicate with students, you're not going to be able to really use Hangouts Meet unless you have 10 kids or less in that classroom. That's why we're going to use a WebEx meeting. And what that does for us is that's going to allow you to be able to have way more kids in it. And so the first time you do it, it's going to say login required. So I would click login. And it's going to ask me, you know, it's going to redirect here and say, well, what's your what's your Google account? And so I've already done part of this. So this one already says, you know, is this who you want to be? I say, yes, that is exactly who I am. Um, but first, there's one step that I have to do beforehand. And so what I would do is I would go to my staff resources page. And on my staff resources page, I'm going to scroll down towards the bottom. I'm going to click on WebEx Alexandria. Once I open that up, um, what's going to happen is I'm going to be able to sign in here on the left hand side. So I'm going to click sign in. And it's going to take me to a page that says, What's your email? So I've already done this step of it because then what it's going to do is it's going to send you um, an email that says, We need to make a password for you to create your account for the first time. So I have this here already. And I'm going to try this out and make sure I get this right. Hopefully that works. Perfect. We're going to save it. And so now I have an account here. You notice, choose your language. We're going to do English. It's my best language, anyways. Um, I'm going to skip a profile picture. All right, done. And so what it does now, when I look back over here, it still says I'm not logged in quite yet. So what I'm going to do is on this other screen that I already had pulled up is we are going to type in the URLs alexandria.webex.com. That should be S4. Hmm, it's expired. Let's try it one more time. So it's going to have a sign in. So alexandria.webex.com. Let's select that one. There we go. So now that conferencing is going to be there. And so what happens is, now that it's here, it's created this for us. So I'm going to click Save on this test day. And so if I wanted this now, what I could do is, here's the WebEx meeting. And so what I could do is I could copy and paste this um, for our students to be able to jump on. Um, sorry, here's my link for it. So we could copy and paste this, put this on Schoology, and students would be able to jump on. And you'd have a synchronous meeting with them online. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks. Bye.